What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite video and today this one is a little controversial. But before we get into it people, I am giving away as always weekly V-Bucks to be with a chance of winning 2800. Simply make sure you are subbed to the channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. If you are picked to win, you will receive a direct message from me. So good luck everybody okay so as of recently i've started thinking it i've started feeling it i've even seen it and that is fortnite battle royale is getting worse and worse now i know not everyone's going to agree with me obviously that's what it's all about but after you have watched the video and have heard my opinion please let me know yours for sure Okay, so first up, let me say, Epic of Outdoubt, one of the best game developers out there. Their communication with us is second to none. Their response to bugs and game issues are second to none. They are constantly updating their game, trying to keep it fresh. Fresh with a limited time game modes, cosmetics, new items to use and so forth. But as of recently, Fortnite Battle Royale has felt a little disappointing. Not entirely, but the way the game seems to be heading. The recent changes to the game, in my opinion, are definitely causing more problems than anything else. Plus the fact they are adding items into the game, which, let's be honest, make it all too easy. And please don't get it twisted. They do great updates and fixes, removing double pumps to say the least. So with all these frequent game updates, come certain problems. The latest was what I can remember being the worst, the version 3.5.0. This basically brought the game and we had almost 24 hours of downtime which is unknown for Fortnite. But the certain game issues and bugs we have ain't what this video is all about. These can be easily fixed by Epic, well we hope so anyway. It's other changes and implementations which in my opinion are taking this game in a direction the community don't want it going. I first started seeing this with vending machines and although I can see the plus side to these being in the game, with the bigger picture, in my opinion they are not good for the game. We then had updates implemented which caused damage fall off and added first shot accuracy. These in my opinion do nothing for the game to make it a better experience. We have also recently seen the addition of the fort port which is the grenade you throw which instantly spawns a metal fort which again I can understand their thinking but with the bigger picture it's again bad for the game. They have also recently added a delay in certain weapon swap times so say if you have two snipers next to each other in your inventory the swap time between them is considerably slower than what it was. All these recent changes with the addition to certain nerfs and buffs applied to certain weapons are making this game exactly what it isn't, a slow paced boring battle royale game. When I started playing this game, the person with the most skill won the battle. Now it's the luckiest person with the best RNG who wins and it's a boring slow process. With the addition of the port of fort for example, this instantly counters that person pushing you meaning it slows things down. It's no longer about who can build the quickest and build an advantage, it's about who was lucky enough to find a port of fort to use it. The delay between weapon swapping in my opinion is baffling, why try and fix something that isn't broke? Now I actually know exactly what Epic are doing here, they are trying to make the game more casual. I understand the game has taken off on levels not expected. We all know this. This means more and more casual players will be playing on a regular basis with new players coming every single day. Epic I suppose don't want them stepping into a world full of sweats who can build a base around you, lay 5 traps and have danced on your dead body before you found your trigger. But that isn't what this game is all about, that is not what Fortnite is all about. What attracts people for the most part is the fact of them seeing amazing players which involve crazy building skill, fast paced run and gunners taking out a team using an impulse and a shotgun. What attracts people is seeing other people have fun. People for the most part don't care about being outplayed in a game like Fortnite. It's a learning process. I started Battle Royale properly and was getting owned every way imaginable, but it didn't put me off. In fact, all it did was make me want to play the game even more to get to that kind of leveling skill. But it seems as though in my opinion, Epic are trying to remove the skill gap and basically make the game more casual. And this is a bad, bad move, trust me. I watched Bungie do exactly the same thing with Destiny, and well, look how that turned out. The steps they have taken of recently truly have slowed the pace of the game down, and in doing this, it benefits nobody but newbies to the game. Those who play between four and 12 hours a day feel this change most. It makes good players play slower. I mean, yes, them adding and changing things in game, that's nothing new. Game developers do this day in, day out, but changing major in-game mechanics should not be tested internally, if you ask me. 
there should be test servers for players like yourselves who grind this game regularly to play and test their changes. This in turn stops the issues many are having right now. My Twitter is full of people complaining about the recent changes. Like myself too, not every one of these people are amazing players, but we still feel the changes are truly bad for the game. Like I said earlier, yes the game is growing, getting bigger and bigger by the day. Epic no doubt feel they need to cater for the casuals, but the game had 45 plus million downloads. 45 million? I think it was doing just fine before these changes, don't you? I just love the game, and I don't want to see Epic make the same mistakes previous games have made. Destiny 2 was shocking compared to the first. The changes Bongo made to make the game more casual were bad changes. Now, 7 months later, the game is almost dead, and they are reverting most things back. Epic still have plenty of time before this kind of thing happens to their game, but they need to act fast to stop this Fortnite train leading down the wrong track too long, because once it gets too far, it will be seriously hard to find its way back. And on that note guys, I am out. Let me know what you think about the recent changes Epic have made to the game. All opinions are welcome, even if you disagree with mine. Thanks as always for stopping by people. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.